Yeah? And it's become very processed. It's not organic. We have mulazima of a shaykh. You take from them their khuluq and their ibadah and their behavior. I remember one of my teachers, Ahmed Ndiyay from Senegal. I would wake up and see him at night crying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of my teachers would finish the Quran in one day at eight years old. He told me, I know it's not the sunnah to finish in less than three days, but I want to leave the dunya with a bang, man. So I want to finish khatam every day. Then I'm not going to say his name. He told me, don't tell anyone I do this. I mean, by my name. So you see, mashaykh, you see how they interact with their families, you see their children. So you take an organic understanding of religion, not just a book understanding of religion. And that's a problem. Ad hoc courses. So once I was in a masjid, and I met a key, so usually I accept in Columbia, Missouri, I pray with my hands to my side. So I remember I was praying with my hands to my side, and one 13 year old kid came to me and he said, Ya Ammu! I said, Yeah, he said, Your salah is batila. I said, Wallahi? He said, Yeah. And this is in America. So he said, you know, he didn't say uncle, he said something more, you know, what's up, dude, or something. And then I said, why? Why is my prayer batila? He said, because you prayed with your hands like this. I said, he didn't know me, and I didn't know him. So I said, mashallah, mashallah, left alayk. You know what the Egyptians say, I left alayk? <laughs> so I said to him, uh, when did you start studying? He said, at 9.30 this morning. <laughs> and he showed me his little packet that he was studying. Then he said, when did you start studying? I said, about 16 years ago. Then he told me, uh, what's your name? I said, I'm, I'm your brother, Suhaib Web. He got scared. <laughs> is, it, but is, this, is this the thamara of the knowledge? Is it the fruit of knowledge? When knowledge